I said we'll be landing in L.A. soon. But did he mention where we might find Mom and Scott Baldwin? Because L.A. is a big city. Uh, Grandma thought we could use some help. This is a scrapbook Mom kept during the first year of marriage to Scott. Maybe it'll tell us where Scott took her. Mom doesn't even look old enough to be married. She wasn't. I think that's part of the problem. Scott and I decided to get married in the park near the fountain. It's one of our favorite places. Wow. I don't know. Mom looks so pretty and... It's weird. I mean, they look like they're in love. I'm sure Mom didn't know what she was getting into. I don't know. I just keep thinking about what Grandma said, how he was her... her best friend and her hero, her love. And now he is her kidnapper. So, you know what? Let's skip to the part where they go on their honeymoon so we can figure out where Scott Baldwin is taking Mom. Day two, Scott and I spent the whole afternoon on Alvera Street. I've never seen anything like it. The bright colors and the people and the music. Wow. It's really cute. They bought his and her sombreros. The man is a psycho. He, he threatened you. He kidnapped mom. Baldwin, I think, is far from cute I, as it gets. I know, I know. It's just, you know, they seem kind of romantic. I just don't see how mom could be this in love with him and then fall madly in love with dad. She did. I mean, I kind of get what she's saying. You know, you give your whole heart to someone, you wonder what's left for anyone else. You think that she still has feelings for Scott? I don't know, but, but I'm sure she doesn't trust him. Ugh. Sometimes your first love is just not that easy to forget. Look at this. Scott gave her a coin. They found a wishing well. I wish. We could be, uh, I wish that we could be this happy and this in love forever, but my throw was off and I missed the wishing well. <laughs> and the wish didn't come true and no one lived happily ever after. Huh? How you feeling? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Your sister left me to die. No, dad, that's wrong. Claudia and I work together to save you. Don't protect her. I'm not protecting anybody. When I walked in, Claudia was on the floor trying to help you. The pain threw me to the floor. She said nothing. Your memory's a little faulty, which is understandable considering what you've been through. I don't know what happened. Claudia left me to die. No, Dad. I walked in the room only seconds after you hit the floor. Claudia was trying to help you, and I called 911. Hey, this is a private room, family only. Looks like you might live, old man. My father is expected to make a full recovery, but he's going to need some peace and quiet in order for that to happen. So I'm going to do my part. I will marry you, Sonny. Okay, so we we have Grand's Chinese Theater, the Music Center, Alvera Street, what else? Put down the San Monica Pier. Well, except for the pier, everything's pretty Hollywood-centered. Well, Baldwin has money. If he's trying to impress Mom, they're going to stay at a nice hotel. Yeah, well, and then we'll just have to call around. We'll start with the five stars and work our way down. Well, well let's just hope that he registered under his own name. Well, if, if Mom went with him willingly, then Scott has no reason to hide, right? Unless, unless of course, she's relapsed. I mean, come on. He, he took her out of a place where she was under intense medical supervision. I just hope her condition doesn't deteriorate. I wish we knew where Dad was. On the road and unreachable, I'm sure. Nicholas, don't start. He's just being honest. Okay. Dad's gone a I'm, lot. All, all I'm saying is that we're on our own with this. This uh, album is the best lead that we have. Obviously, they had a very good honeymoon. She talks here about their apartment. Uh, he went to... PCU to study law. They didn't have a lot of money and she wanted to help. So... <laughs> what? Luke Spencer hired me to work at the campus disco. <laughs> I'm sure she had no idea that was the beginning of the end, huh? No way in hell am I gonna marry you, Claudia. I mean, it's just not even... Why are you here, Well, that... because he's sick, right? Your dad? He needs to, uh, you know, have somebody step in and run the family, and I, I'm going to do that for him. Oh, that's one hell of a sacrifice you want to As soon as your dad's medical condition leaks out, everybody's going to know that the organization is vulnerable. If I step in, 
the perception is much better. I can take care of my family just fine. No, you're not ready, Johnny, to run things. This is not the time or the place to have this conversation, and he is in no condition to talk business. I can't speak for myself. You are the Zacharis. You married Claudia. No deal. Okay, there is no way in hell that I'm gonna let her marry okay, that. Okay, don't, don't, don't argue with Daddy, Johnny. He's not in any condition for this. Oh, you mean to tell me that you would go through with this? Sell yourself to Corinthos? I don't like it. But I understand why it needs to be done. Trust me. This is all for your benefit. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Scott is registered at the Truman Hotel in Hollywood. I have a car waiting to take us there as soon as we land. Great, so now we just gotta figure out how to get her away from him. I have a <laughs> feeling that Scott will do whatever Mom wants. Are you really buying into what Mom wrote in that memory book? All I'm saying is that Scott was not always a bad guy. You can't ignore what Baldwin has become. Look, I, I, th I think she's right. At, at one point, I'm sure they were, they were very happy until Luke blew up their relationship. Look, Lucky, the memory book stops when Mom went to work for Dad at the campus disco. It doesn't say anything else, but you know that she was attracted to Dad even though she was married to Scott. And things blew up. That's not Scott's fault. Are you really taking his side? Look, it's... I'm just saying not everyone's all good or all bad. It's a little more complicated than that. Whatever it was, it happened years, years ago. ago. But it's not over, okay? It's not over by a long shot.